Hi everyone, welcome to the Body Burn Camera Policy Implementation Program Annual Meeting. My name is Brittany Cunningham and I am the Assistant Director for CNA Center for Justice Research and Innovation and the Project Manager for the Body Worn Camera PIP Training and Technical Assistance Program. As a reminder, points of view or opinions expressed herein do not necessarily represent the official position or policies of the U.S. Department of Justice. Thank you all again for joining. To officially welcome you and provide opening remarks, I'd like to pass it off and introduce you to Mr. John Markovic, Senior Policy Advisor with BJA. John? Great. Thanks, Brittany. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are. My name is John Markovic. I'm a Senior Policy Advisor with the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and my main role there is to oversee the Body Worn Camera Policy and Implementation Program better known as BWC PIP. I'd like to welcome you to what is our eighth annual national meeting for grantees of this grant program. And I'm welcoming you on my own behalf, but more importantly on behalf of Director Carlton Moore. He'll be speaking with us on the closing day of the meeting. This meeting is focused on fiscal year 2022 grantees, although others have been invited. These are grantees that receive funds for their body-worn camera programs. But in addition, new this year, we have several included several grantees in our grant program that are working with established body-worn camera programs, but are working on ways to share how they're le leveraging digital evidence and using their own body-worn camera footage to promote training and constitutional practices. We'll hear more from those demonstration sites on Thursday about what they're doing to integrate digital evidence management, how prosecutors are leveraging that data, and again, how agencies are using their own BWC footage to improve training and things like de-escalation and constitutional policing. The sessions here will cover mostly substantive issues, but we also discuss administrative issues, including um, procurement guidelines from the Office of Justice Programs, our umbrella agency over BJA. Then tomorrow at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we'll have office hours featuring BJA's three state policy advisors. These are the folks that work with you on grant administrative issues. This is not a mandatory session, but it's an optional session. We hope you join and ask questions of the state policy advisors who are assigned to the Body Worn Camera Program. And then Thursday at noon, in a more administrative capacity, we'll also delve into how BJA, BJA leverages the performance metric data that you all provide with your, your reports, quarterly reports, and um, how we use that information to refine the Body Worn Camera Program. So as you looked at the agenda, you'll see that the sessions are varied and speak to critical issues. We're speaking to agencies that have just implemented their body-worn camera programs. We're speaking to agencies that are experienced. They may be expanding or enhancing their body-worn camera programs with grant funding. Um, those are marked in the agenda. And just in general, as the body-worn camera program has matured, our program, and as the general BWC ecosystem, you know, how things are being used and how technology is evolving. As that's progressed, we've shifted the focus of these annual meetings to address these emerging, emerging challenges and themes. You know, these include, as I alluded to, managing the tsunami of digital evidence data being generated by, by body-worn cameras and working better to integrate that data with data from other digital evidence platforms such as dashboard cameras, LPRs, stationary cameras. Uh, we always continue to ensure that you work to ensure compliance with your BWC policies that the cameras are being used when they're intended to be used in the manner that they're intending to be used. So we have a session that dives in on that. And we always want to help you sustain successful body-worn camera programs after the grant period is over. Before I turn it over to Dr. Coldren, I clearly want to thank CNA and their partners at Arizona State University and Justice and Security Strategies for putting this meeting together. Um, there's a lots of logistical and substantive work being done 
and CNA has pulled together a lot of great speakers and a lot of great content. So I want to thank them at the outset for that. Uh, we want to continue to improve the grant program and then retool these national meetings each year to meet the evolving needs of our grantees. So please, please take advantage of this. We hope that we provide you with a lot of useful information, but we also want to learn from you as we continue to develop this program. With that, I will turn it over to Dr. Chip Coldren, who will walk us through the events for today and tomorrow and Thursday. Chip. John, thank you very much. Thanks for getting us launched and providing some insights into the meeting. And hello, everyone. It's nice to see so many of you log into the meeting, and it's very nice to get underway. I would also like to just say a word of thanks uh, to John, our colleague at BJA, and uh, to the BJA leadership, especially Carlton Moore, Ruby Kozlobosch, and Vince Davenport, who uh, support us in many ways as we work with all of you. We do have several goals for this meeting, and I hope you'll bear with me as I go over a few of them. Uh, we want you to hear from your peers and from other experts in the field regarding some of the key topics regarding body worn camera programs and their implementation. We want you to learn more about the BJA body worn camera program from your BJA partners, especially how to best administer your program award. We want you to learn more about key issues in the field regarding body worn camera policy research, practices, and emerging technology. And we want you to get to know each other a bit better and to use this opportunity to be helpful to each other. As John suggested, the best way to be helpful to each other is to participate in this meeting and in the sessions and to let others, your peers and colleagues, know about your experiences, good and bad, how you resolve problems that presented themselves. So by being here and participating, you will be of help to your peers and colleagues. Now, I take a quick walk through our agenda for today and the next two days. And if you haven't already figured it out, we have a lot going on covering many topics. I think there's something for everyone here. Some sessions will be more helpful to those of you in the earlier or middle stages of program implementation, and some will be more helpful to those of you with substantial experience with your programs. Use your judgment regarding which of the breakout sessions to attend and feel free to pursue your interests. There are general sessions for everyone and some clearly geared towards program administration and BGA requirements. Like I said, something for everyone. If you have questions about which sessions to attend, feel free to reach out to your technical assistance leads or to any one of us and we'll provide some guidance for that. For today, after these welcoming remarks, we'll move right into a 45-minute session covering the perspectives of two national organizations on ongoing developments with body-worn cameras. Then we'll have two concurrent sessions, one on the piloting of body-worn camera programs and one on what we are learning from body-worn camera research. After that, we'll have a session touching on issues relating to the release of body-worn camera footage with our colleague, Laura McElroy followed by a discussion about digital evidence management as it relates to body-worn camera footage. And finally, a session on how cameras impact constitutional policing. That's a pretty full agenda for, for one day. Tomorrow, we'll begin with optional office hours with BJA representatives, an opportunity for you to ask them questions directly about your program and grant administration. We'll then have a meeting keynote address from Chief Michael Moore of the Los Angeles Police Department, followed by a series of sessions covering analytical tools, prosecutors' experiences, the federal procurement process, use of body cameras and in field investigations, a session on how to sustain program successes, and ending with a session on body-worn camera policy compliance monitoring and audits. Again, pretty packed day. On Thursday, our last day, we'll have a session on the BGA Performance Measurement System, Technology Advances with Body and Worn Cameras, the issue of tagging Body and Worn Camera footage. We'll hear from several of our demonstration sites regarding their experiences. We'll have an address from BGA Director Carlton Moore. And finally, a discussion regarding the use of Body and Worn Cameras during civil unrest incidents. 
Each day we'll close with a brief summary of the day and look toward the next, plus a final wrap up on Thursday. You can see that we've put together a full and varied agenda. As I said earlier, something for everyone. And as I said earlier, the best thing you can do is participate and let us know your thoughts and experiences and questions about the various topics we will cover. Others will be very happy to hear what you have to say. I can pretty much guarantee that. So uh, thank you again, John. Thank you again, BJA. Thank you, Brittany, Ali, Quinn, and Margarita, and the entire team who put this together and will run the show for the next few days. Now let's get the show on the road. Thanks, everybody.